Question number 9e asks us to graph without technology. So I'm going to just do this one here. And it's already in factored form. So when we're dra drawing this without technology, all we really need are, for now anyways, are the intercepts, the x-intercepts, and the y-intercept. You can understand the multiplicity of this. So taking a look at g, I look at my factors, x minus 1. That's going to give me a 0 at x equals 1. The x plus 2 squared gives me a 0 at 2, but now that is a multiplicity of 2, so we're going to have a bounce there. And then I also have 1 at x equals 3. I'm going to have to spread this out a bit, actually. I'm going to make the scaling into 1 here, 2 here, and that would make 3 here. Okay, so that's 1, 2, and 3. To find the y-intercept, we can just plug in 0. So when x is equal to 0, when I plug that in, I get negative 1 times 4 times 9. So negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 times 9 is negative 36. So when x is 0, y is equal to negative 36. Okay, so actually I made a mistake with the, this one here. The multiplicity was 2 in both cases. So when x is 0, y is negative 36. So I'm going to scale this as well. So I'm going to maybe say, do this 10, 20, 30, 40. So that's going to be negative 40. So somewhere right about there. Okay, so negative 40 is my scaling. So to draw this then, I need to make sure that I have my graph drawn in the right direction. So if I, I can do this in two ways. I can check to see what the leading coefficient sign is going to be so it's going to be positive 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 so it's a positive fifth degree polynomial so it should start from down here okay, down in this area here but we could also just kind of guess at it and just make sure it can go through that y-intercept okay because if we start on the wrong side it will not go through the y-intercept without having extra zeros so my graph then using my intercepts i'm going to have a bounce at negative three so it's negative 3, negative 2. I'm going to have, oops, I'm going to have to draw this a little bit differently. It's bounce here, another bounce there. It's got to go through the 40. Actually, I'm going to draw it slightly differently. I'm going to, I don't know if it's going to be going through to negative 36 on the way back up or if it's on the way down. It looks like because of the symmetry, it's going to be that way, but we don't know for sure. And we don't need to really show that for now. Okay, in calculus we'll, we will. But the graph's going to generally look like this. Now you might have slightly different looking graphs, though, but the, the intercepts have to be in the same place, and the direction that it's going has to be in, in the same direction as well.